Hi, my name is Tiffany Calvert. I'm going to be taking over the Jonathan Ferreira social media for a few days to share with you a little bit about my work and my process. Um, my paintings are currently included in the group exhibition Art in Doom at Jonathan Ferreira. So normally I would be showing you around a much larger studio on the University of Louisville campus where I'm a professor. I can't go there safely right now because of the COVID pandemic, so I've created a home studio. It's um, in a home I share with my uh, husband and partner who is also an artist and a professor and my five-year-old daughter, almost five. So we have a rhythm that we've created. It involves some homeschooling. It's actually involved a lot of hiking with my daughter. Um, as most artists know, any change to your life patterns or your studio location creates a really different um, okay. set of circumstances for your art making. Luckily this has happened to me once or twice before. I've lost studios, haven't been able to work the way I normally work, and I know from experience that it means at some point it's going to have a positive impact on my practice, it's going to change the work for the better. I know that initially it's just going to be frustrating. So. You know, I've gotten used to these really long hikes with my daughter, who thankfully is long enough to take two-hour hikes with me. And you just have to get used to this rhythm being slower. She wants to stop every few feet and look at things and pick them up and examine them. And What's that? it takes um, an attention to texture and color and hiking slowly, which is not a way that I normally operate, but I appreciate that right now. My current work I wanted to share with you guys, I paint into reproductions on canvas. Um, this is really interesting for me because it presents a challenge to myself to interact with the image. It presents a challenge to painting, I think, that's really interesting. What's painting's relevance in the age of high resolution reproduction? And it creates a really complex space. I'm as interested in images and image culture as I am in these paintings in particular. So what I like to do is layer the sort of grades or levels of distortion that the image goes through before I paint on it. My name is Tiffany Calvert. I live in Louisville, Kentucky. The eight paintings in the exhibition are part of a series of oil paintings on inkjet prints on canvas. I start by sometimes manipulating the image in Photoshop um, or processing software to alter the code such that there are glitches or changes to the image that interrupt it. I then continue by painting into the image on canvas and um, interrupt the image more that way. In the end, hopefully, um, there is a marriage of uh, the gesture of oil painting, the striated digital mark, and the original painting such that they start to blend together and create a more integrated space. The originals are all Dutch floral still lifes from the golden era of Dutch painting. These paintings were um, made of tulips and flowers that were prized in that era. Many people might be familiar with uh, the period called tulip romania, which is an economic bubble in which the Dutch prized tulips so much that um, at one point tulips could cost uh, more than a house and indeed they could cost more than the paintings of them. A viewer might be able to tell that there are areas of the painting that are masked off when I use oil paint on the surface. And this means that as I'm painting, um, it covers an area of the image and then I get to peel that off and reveal it at the end. I started out the series uh, doing that masking by hand. Later, I wanted to be able to control the overall design of the image. So I now have full scale vinyl masks made that are 55 or 48 inches, and I apply the entire mask at once. I then have to make the entire painting in one day because the mask will only last that long. And I also have to peel it at the end of that same day so that um, it almost reveals itself to me as a painting that I haven't seen ahead of time. And um, it asks a lot of me sort of imagining what will happen once the paint um, is revealed and the surface becomes um, the surface underneath is revealed and you can see the image underneath.
I'm Tiffany Calvert, hosting my third day of my artist takeover for Jonathan Ferrara Gallery. I want to share with you today what I'm working on and what's to come. I actually still have work in two exhibitions that are on pause right now, um, but they're available online or by appointment. The first is Art in Doom at Ferrara that is still up. And I also have work in a solo exhibition at Tin Contemporary in Nashville, Tennessee. Coming up, I'm excited to have work included in an upcoming exhibition at the Carnegie Center for Art and History in Indiana. That show is titled Past Performance as Indicator of Future Outcomes and is an exhibition of work by women who use artificial intelligence in their process. You can read more about my work in an article written recently for Hyperallergic by art critic and poet John Yao. I'm also a professor at the University of Louisville and this fall, Director of Graduate Studies for our MFA program. Thanks for following me for the past couple of days. You can keep following my work on my Instagram and website. And thanks to Jonathan Ferrara for the takeover. <laughs>